I'm back with 365 devotions and I'm on March 26th. Ask me to increase your thankfulness. This will brighten your day and open your heart to me. Seek to see me in the midst of your circumstances. Look for signs of my unseen presence as you walk along the path of life. Gratefulness opens not only your heart, but also your eyes. When you know me intimately, you can find me in myriad tiny details as well as in the big picture of your life. Take time to notice all my blessings, small and large, and to thank me for them. This practice will help you enjoy many gifts. Ask me also to train you in trusting me more constantly. Well-developed trust enables you to go across treacherous terrain without stumbling. The more challenging your journey, the more frequently you need to voice your confidence in me. You can pray, Lord, I trust you, your unfailing love. This short prayer reminds you that I am with you. I am taking care of you. I love you forever. Rejoice, beloved, for I am truly worthy of your thankfulness and trust. Therefore, as you have received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk in him, having been firmly rooted and now being built up in him and established in your faith, just as you were instructed and overflowing with gratitude. Colossians 2, 6-7 You will show me the path of life. In your presence is fullness of joy. At your right hand are pleasures forevermore. Psalm 16, 11. But I am like an olive tree, flourishing in the house of God. I trust in God's unfailing love forever and ever. Psalm 52, 8. This one right here. Seek me in the midst of your circumstances. Seek God no matter what you're going through, no matter what it looks right now, you seek him. Seek the kingdom. Everything else will follow. Know that God will never leave you. Know that he is with you at all times. Know that he goes before you. Right? So whatever you're going through, he already went ahead of you. So you have no reason to be afraid of what's to come. Know that God walks before us. Know that God is with us. Know that he will not leave us. Know that he sent his only begotten son to die for us. So why would he leave you now? Right? Why would he why would he leave you even when, even when you don't seek him? What makes you think he's not there? He been there all this time and you think that he's leaving you now? Because of something that you've done? Because you haven't been seeking him? No, he's still there. Seek him. Right? Know that he loves you. Get to know God. You know, have that intimate relationship with him. Right? And then you'll, you will notice that things seem way more easier than they used to. Right? Because, you know, when we go to Christ, we are a whole new, whole new person, right? Our flesh is weak. <laughs> I say this to myself daily, right? Uh, especially when, when I get, um, you know, tempted to do something. I, say, I tell myself all the time, your flesh is weak, right? So that tells me right there, once I get that thought in my head, telling me that my flesh is weak, that means I need to go see God. And I need to go talk to God because, you know, something's not right here. Right? So when you feel that temptation, what you need to do is go to God. Even... Even when you feel like, you know, like, not going to him, that's the main reason to go to him. Because you know that you're being attacked spiritually. You know that something is telling you don't go to God, don't talk to God, right? So that's the, the main time that you need to force yourself to, you know what, I need to go read my word. I need to go talk to God. I need to invite him into my life, into my decisions, into everything. We need to invite God into everything we do. We need to invite him into our household. We need to put God before everything else. Right? And instead of, you know, going to God after situations, put God before that situation. Put put God 
before you go into before you you even step foot into that situation put god first right don't don't bring god into the situation afterward and then be wondering why you know don't don't and then try to like blame god like god why you didn't stop this from happening well he would he would have told you if you would put me first <laughs> i would have told you don't even get into that situation right or if you would have brought me into the situation first you know i could have guided you to where you needed to go or the steps you needed to take but you waited to put me after the situation right when when the situation starts failing that's when you you decided you know what i need god when you should have put god first right so seek him no matter what you do seek god okay because he's with you he's going before you he already knows what's gonna happen so you might as well go to him and get that guidance first but that's it love you guys bye